right, guys. I don't even know what day it is. Today's Thursday. Happy Thursday. <laughs> um, I've been in a loophole trying to just create content. Um, trying to create as much content as I can because I know there will be a lull period between like me going to the hospital and the kid getting here and then getting home and there's just a lot, right? So I've been trying to like batch a bunch of content. That has nothing to do with the video today. <laughs> it explains why I'm all dolled up, but nothing to do with the video. So um, I wanted to do a weekend vlog of just us finally preparing, just putting like the, lines, the last finishing touches on uh, preparing for the kid. His crib came last week um, and we're set to put it together this weekend. We had um, a recent death in the family. So William's grandmother passed away this week. And so it's just kind of thrown everything off kilter. So I figured I'd start the vlog today um, and then it'll just go how long as it needs to go until we get finished. So just popping in today. Um, because I'm set to, I'm going to go ahead and pack up the kids' bag and then I'm gonna go ahead and pack up my bag today. Um, so that's the goal for me today. Like I said, we still have to put the crib together. The snooze shipped um, Monday, so it should get here. So I'll show you guys once that's set up. We're gonna start it off in our room because I have to cluster feed for the first week and a half and then we'll move it to his actual room. So. Just like I said, putting the last finishing touches on getting ready for the kid to get here. So I'm going to, it is actually 1.30. Um, so I'm actually going to snack on something really quick because I ate breakfast at like 11 something. So I'm going to grab a snack, but I just wanted to go ahead and do this intro. So I will check back in when I'm upstairs in his room and we are packing his bag so we are in his room um i'm not going to show you the mural yet one because there's like crib boxes on there so you guys can't see the full mural but when i get the room settled before this video is out you guys want to see the full uh, mural but we're going to pack his bag so if you've watched my blue baton haul you saw that i got his um, diaper bag is also a Louis Vuitton bag. Yes, I'm very excited. Yes, um, no, I feel no shame whatsoever. <laughs> I love this bag. So, um, I had a list on Pinterest of what all I needed to, like, pack. Um, and so, got it memorized. I'm just going to do that. So, first things first, I know that the doc, that the office or the hospital is going to provide diapers, but I, his dad has sensitive skin. <laughs> And so I'm going to go ahead and bring my own diaper. So these are just the, uh oh, there we go. These are the honest diapers. I got them in a size newborn. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm going to pack those. Also, I know that the hospital is going to provide wipes for us, but like I said, his dad has sensitive skin and I'm just doing it just in case. And so I'm also packing our diapers, we, um, or our wipes. We requested the Pampers Sensitive or the Honest Wipes. So these are the Pampers Sensitive. I'm just packing the whole thing. I am packing some Destin Maximum Strength Diaper Rash. My sister told me to pack this. Um, and then I need to pack, I need to get a blanket and his pacifier all right so for blankets i just got this cute black and white one nothing fancy because i'm pretty sure i'm trying not to like overpack because i know that the hospital is going to provide a lot of stuff so i'm only going to do one blanket um i need to grab his pacifier so my sister told me to be very prepared <laughs> for a pacifier so i'm doing two different ones i have the nano bb um and then i also have i think this is the advent yeah so the phillips pacifier so i'm packing both of these in there and i've already got them on like these cute one's an alabama string and then one's just like a gray and a white a neutral string I'm gonna pack on the outside and then my friend actually gave me this really cool it's a um what do you call when you clean something like a cleaner, like, um, I'll put the word for it here because pregnancy brain has like, I can't even remember the word for it, but basically you put 
the pacifier in here and then you close it up and then you press it but i don't want to press it now but then it it cleans it without it having to go through like water and all that kind of stuff so i'm going to pack this and it's a travel size so i'm going to pack this all right so we have all of the essentials packed up diapers wipes pacifier blankets everything else i'm pretty sure either the hospital can provide or we're not that far from the hospital. The last thing we're going to show you guys are his outfits. So because I am doing a cesarean section, um, I want to say they're going to have me in there for anywhere between three and four nights. So I packed one, two, three. I packed five outfits. They're easy. They're really small and simple. Um, so let me get this off of the tripod. Yeah. And then let me show you the outfits that I packed. All right, so these two are the first ones. These are just like little cute swaddling, uh, make swaddling easier. Husbands never swaddle in a newborn, so I figured these were nice and easy. This just opens up. It's Velcro. Put the kid in it and then Velcro back. Same thing for this one. Um, Velcro is back here, so you unvelcro it, put him in here, and then you put him back. So that's that. Um, this is a cute red set. I love this. I got this, of course, from H&M. It's got the onesie, the um, pant. It's got the little hat. And then one of our friends gave us these little cute Alabama um, socks. So that's cute. And then his second outfit is basically the exact same set, but it's in white. This one, either I didn't come with a hat or I can't find the hat. But cute set onesie and then a pant and then I've got him some mittens because my sister said he might like try to scratch his face and then with the hat and then if I don't get a custom um well if my custom outfit doesn't arrive in time he's gonna go home in that one got that from Target black is beautiful onesie with the socks and then the little hat to match and so that's what we're packing up for the kid. So this is the bag. The bag is complete. We have everything we need for the kid. <sighs> All right, let's go pack my bag. All right, so now that we are done with the kiddo's bag, we are now, it is stark white in here. My goodness, I don't know if it's just the camera. It has to be the camera because these walls are actually gray. I apologize for it looking I look like an angel with the background anyway <laughs> um so we are packing my bag i am packing a carry-on not necessarily a duffel because duffel is probably going to be heavy because i actually have a lot of stuff that i have to pack so um just getting into some of the details i did download something off of pinterest that just suggested what to pack it's got two pair of socks or a pair of flip-flops i didn't have any like i just i'm a firm believer in just walking around barefoot but I know that you cannot do that at a hospital. So I just picked up a two pack from Target. It's got five pair of underwear. I know that the hospital is gonna provide some underwear, but I wanted to get a pair, like some disposable underwear. And Frida, mom has like the disposable underwear specifically for the C-section. So I packed a couple, well, I'll pack five pairs of those just in case the ones at the hospital are not that good. Um, it says two pair of pajamas, but I was told from my doctor that I'll probably be in the hospital for three nights, so I packed three pair of pajamas. I packed two robes. Um, so I've got one, they're both from Skims. Let me show you. I've got the regular one. It's just a basic robe, you know, just feels really good. It feels really comfortable. I don't know if they have the material makeup in these things. Oh, 95% rayon, 5% spandex. So really comfortable, but then, if I wanted to get like a little cute picture of me and the kiddo for like photo purposes, I did bring the fancier skim. So this is like their silk pajama, silk robe that goes all the way to the floor where it actually hits the floor on me because I'm short. So I did pack that one. Um, we needed to get some nursing bras. I don't have any. Um, and so I got these from Target. I think I got two different brands so I could see which one I like best. Yeah, so one is from Alden and then the other one is from Bravado. If you guys have, and they're just black because you normally do black underwear. Um, but if you guys have like a brand that you like over the other, please leave it in the comment section because like I said, this is newer for me. 
Um, and even after I'm done, like I said, I was gonna do a week and a half of cluster feeding and then transition him to pumping. So even if I'm pumping, I'm still gonna need, like, put my boob out to be able to pump. So um, that's that. Um, it says nursing tanks. I don't have a nursing tank. So I guess I'll go on Amazon to get a couple of those. Nipple balm. All right, so nipple balm are going with Earth Mama Organics. Heard a lot about that. What else do we have? Breast pads, organic pads. I'm not gonna wear a pad, like take pads with me because I've been told that they provide them there. Yes, they're probably long as crap, but they provide the pads. <laughs> um, breast pads. I don't, oh, I think I do. Oh, I do. This is one of those gifts where you're just like, I appreciate you for giving it for me, but I'm not sure what it's for. This is it. This is the Stay Dry Nursing Pads. I'm not really sure. Oh, they literally look like pads. How many do I bring? The whole, I'm just gonna bring the whole thing. I don't. I have no idea what this is for. What is a nursing pad for? Maximum absorbency. Waterproof. What is this? It's for leakage? Anyway, whoever got these for me, I appreciate it. <laughs> um, and then let's see what else. And then of course outfits to like to wear throughout the like the time we're in the hospital. I literally didn't bring much. I packed the most comfortable joggers I have, which are the Les the Label. Love her joggers. So packing two of those. And I'll probably um, get some nursing tanks like to pair with them, like as I'm there during the day. And then I just have just some white, I have some white tanks to go with it because that was just gonna be my uniform, but I'll pack them, whatever. And then the last thing is just, um, this is a coming home outfit. I don't know what I'm coming home in, probably. I don't know. I haven't reached that far yet. If it's either one of these joggers or maybe I'll pick up something. Um, and then of course toothbrush, deodorant, hairbrush, and the makeup and lip balm. Of course I'm gonna wait to pack my makeup, but I have my travel bag that I just keep, like I keep stuffed in case it's like a quick travel trip. So this is my travel bag. I literally just keep it, just it's it stays ready. So you've got makeup removers, makeup, I mean makeup remover pads, and then some cleansing pads, and then all of my um, face wash and then a toothbrush, a toothbrush and a toothpaste down there. So all that's gonna go in here. And I think that's it guys. With the exception of nursing tanks, I guess I'll look online for Amazon. Um, and then a going home outfit. But other than that, we are all packed up or we're 95% packed. So I'm going to leave you guys here for the day. This is all I'm doing to prepare for the kid. I will check back in when me and husband are attempting to put together his crib. Just one glass in, you're already on my mind. When it gets late, I always realize that I need you. Are you thinking about me too tonight? It's no secret, all my friends already know. No reason to hold it back, I let it show all my feelings. Are you thinking about me too tonight? Mm -hmm. Your hands around my waist, just let the music play. Like a drug, I am hooked on you. Sweeter than summer wine, baby, just hold me tight. Like a drug, I am hooked on you. Took a little a little adjusting but the snoo is here we have it on my side of the bed because I have more space over here but 
it's cute now we just have to do the dreaded crib we we're gonna do it today before he goes out of town I don't feel like it so we're gonna wait until he gets back and when he gets back I'll probably will have different hair <laughs> so if you see me with braids while we're putting the crib together just know yeah I ran away from heartbreak Got nothing in return for my pain I never thought I'd be so empty, so alone and afraid hey. Wasn't looking for a lover Nobody understood where I've been I guess I thought I needed more time to protect my love from potential offense So I left to get and that is just the sheets for the crib he's not going to be in them for at least a couple of months so i have plenty of time i will make sure that i link absolutely everything oh husband's here you want to come really quick really quick really quickly i know you got your way to go you haven't been on the. oh wow yet? this is close it's not it's not that close this okay. is the baby's father i talk about him this all the time but i don't think i don't think you've ever talked on no, like spoken, spoken to the camera yeah yeah or for, in passing yeah for all those that are like wondering and concerned i know that i had a lot of questions about like the decision to openly share like our son coming up it was literally all him like i tell people all the time the only reason why i'm comfortable showing him was because i asked only because we're both on instagram but of course my platform is a lot bigger so we just wanted to be I wanted to make sure it was okay with him. Why did you choose to do that? Because I know some people mm. don't choose to show the kid, like their like their face, like those well, show like arms. I and... probably blame that on you, oh. because you pretty much have. I mean, you've invited your followers, friends, guests, Instagram guests, social media guests into your life and our lives. Yeah, and I feel like something that as large of a magnitude as bringing a you know new little human being into the world and to deprive them of that or at least somewhat not not give them some kind of insight uh i didn't think would be fair to your followers i can see that yeah so it's it's his reason as to why you guys are going to see more so moving forward when we have like especially fresh out of the hospital if i'm doing more vlogs it'll probably be him holding the camera more because he'll have like just the strength and the ability to hold the camera and provide insight on like how I'm doing, how my postpartum is going. You guys were obsessed and you're like, let him help you instead of the doula. So this is him helping me. So if he has the camera going forward with all the vlogs, just know that mm -hmm. he'll be the camera person since he says he's gonna help take care, <laughs> take care of me. I'll send you my invoice. Oh my goodness. Net 30, please. <laughs> 
You could go. You can go. Yeah, now. 30. Okay. okay. I'll, I'll be ready in like five minutes. I need my money on time. Got it. Thank you so much. Five minutes. Peace out. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Anyway, he's never been in front of the camera. I think he's going to have to be in front of the camera a lot more because, like I said, I don't know. I don't know what postpartum looks for me. I don't know what it looks like for me. I don't know how strong I'm going to be able to come back, how fast I'm going to be able to come back. But I still want to invite you guys on that journey. And so instead of me having the vlog the whole time, he'll probably be moving towards more of the camera stuff. So, um, yeah, it was good that he popped in. I got to get ready to go because mom's birthday. We're supposed to be doing dinner later tonight. So if you have reached this portion of the video, don't forget to subscribe. Also click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from me. Like I said before, I will link, if there is something linkable that I can link in this nursery, I will definitely make sure that I'll link it for you in the description below. So check that out. Um, while you're here, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe and do all the things that the other YouTubers tell you to do. And I'm going to catch you guys next Sunday, 7 o'clock Central. Later.